just finished up welding these tabs for the radius arms on the beams got them fully done so now the the beams themselves those are all fully welded up and i just started tearing apart this spindle um because the uprights need more welding uh they're not finished and uh, i was getting the hub torn apart and i kind of uh thought maybe we'll end this video with uh maybe showing a little bit uh about the parts i'm using and uh how we're getting here of getting a wheel and everything set up on this thing so this is uh the beam is obviously all my stuff uh everything i've been cutting out and welding and uh then once we get to the spindle itself using oem parts so not going with um some aftermarket stuff there's like race hubs two inch two and a half all that stuff um keeping this oem option so um this is what this is the setup that i run on my c10 uh if you watch a lot of my videos my c10 i've been running the same spindle and hub setup on that thing um for a long time this actually so this this spindle and this exact hub used to be on my truck um the reason that these are off is no reason at all other than the fact that i drill these out to 12 bolt now um, because of my snout blocks and so i swapped them on my truck and then i've just never gotten to the point of drilling these ones out yet but these are spares for my truck so setting up this chevy build what we have here is this is all from a company called solid industries they are out of ohio i found them online um, i don't have any affiliation with them just parts that i found and i liked their stuff so i ordered them and uh really impressed when it showed up what we have here so can't wait to actually get them out and run them uh but what we have is solid industries dana 44 snout their dana 44 conversion bolt pattern hub for a chevy six by five and a half pattern and then we have a set of timken bearings uh the races are already pounded in the hubs and then we have some i think i got these from yukon gear and axle a the dual lock nut with a lock ring and the little uh stud for the for the snout so kind of how this is works is this setup is i believe i got these off of a 70s something i don't really remember but it was off of a Dana 44 straight axle. These are four wheel drive hubs. We're only using them in a two wheel drive application. So what I'm gonna end up doing is these are all hollow for um, an axle shaft to come through. Um, and then you would normally have your, um, whatever you call them, the thing you click. Man, I really don't mess with four wheel drive, so I'm having a brain fart, I can't think about it. Anyways, I end up just making an aluminum cover to put in there. Um, and then as far as the snout, you can see on this one, this one is welded up with a slug. That's what this one will end up getting a uh, piece of steel put in there. It'll get welded up. So that'll become a solid snout. The bearings, um, this is an inch and three quarter Dana 44. Um, you can get online and do your research on all sorts of different um, years and stuff to look for. Um, but the nice thing with this company is they just made it easy they just make the Ford big bearing option. So this is Ford's um, OEM big bearing snout. So it uses the Timken two inch inner uh, diameter bearing where the one that is on my C10 uses an inch and three quarter. So get a little bit bigger bearing. The outer bearing is still the same size. Um, and then the hub itself, as far as the machining on it, uh, it's all a brand new machined hub is a lot thicker you can see they've they've uh beefed this thing up quite a bit they added a little bit of uh shape to it you know they kind of put a little taper on on that um and yeah looks really nice so got that all torn apart um this will end up getting this is a six bolt um snout i'll end up uh drilling this out i have a fixture i'm uh Hopefully updating soon on that. I'm going to be working on power in that thing. So hopefully I can get that fired up and then I can get uh, my fixture in there and drill these things out and we'll have 12 bolt um, snout holding that on. And that's kind of uh, the Dana 44 setup that I do. So it's an OEM setup with a couple modifications, I guess. Um, but from there, you know, the snouts. Um, so my truck, my C10, I've been running the same snouts. Um, ever since I changed them out from these. And the only reason I changed them is because I drilled um, a different set I had out to 12 bolt and then I swapped them. And I still need to drill these ones out. These are getting 
just rusty from sitting on the shelves, but there's still nothing wrong with these ones. These are just some spares. So this is a uh, Ford five by five and a half pattern. Uh, this company, they also make this exact same hub, a brand new one, just like this. So instead of uh, buying an old rusty axle off marketplace, that's kind of what I did when I was building my truck. I think I bought an axle for like a hundred dollars and then I just stripped it down. Um, and then even the second one, I did the same thing. And that's how I ended up getting two sets is you can, you can kind of find those, uh, Dana 44s pretty uh, cheap on marketplace and you can just take the, um, snouts and the hubs, buy a new set of bearings and that's the end of your setup. So anyways, welding on those is done. We'll, uh, get those torn apart. This one's got the upper gusset. You can see this one here. It's sitting right there. That one needs welded on. So we're going to get these spindles torn apart, get those welded up. Um, the radius arms are done. And then coming up next is going to be actually mounting these things on the truck. Uh, I got a little bit more welding to do on the frame over there and then mess with the beam pivots. And uh, yeah, get these things finally underneath the truck and get some shocks on there and get the weight on it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. We'll uh, catch you out in the dunes. See you next time.